Hey guys, tech, Tim Schmidt, aka Tactical Tim here. Um, here we are at the range. Uh, good friends of mine, Pat Kilterman and um, Frank McCool. And I promised them that we'd uh, play a little bit with my uh, my can for my 45 Auto. Uh, this is this is one of those things that you know once you kind of get into firearms and stuff, pretty soon you start accumulating a whole bunch of crazy toys, uh, as as you can see here by the M14 <laughs> sitting on the on the bench, but. So anyway, so it's really not nearly as difficult to get one of these as you think. Um, obviously, this is, was acquired by me through total legal channels. Um, this is class three order form. You have to pay the ATF $200 stamp. It takes about six months to pro process, but eventually you, you get one of these babies. Um, this one is actually a uh, made by Gemtech. It's the SOS, or I'm sorry, SOS 45 for the 45 Auto. It's actually a wet dry suppressor, meaning that you, you're, to, to get the ultimate sound attenuation, you're supposed to um, fill it up, not completely full, but essentially get it wet with either water or grease. Um, grease works the best because it stays in there longer. Of course, I forgot the grease today, so I'm going to just put a little water in here. And the way you do it is, it um, doesn't really matter which end you pour it in. Just fill it up a little bit. And what you want to do is there's all the different chambers in there. You want to shake it around, kind of roll it, and then just empty it out. So really what we're doing is we're just kind of coating the inside with liquid. Okay, so uh, suppressor's ready to roll. Um, where's the gun? Here it is. Um, I've got my Glock 45 or Glock 21 all set up for this, essentially a threaded barrel. Just to confirm that the uh, handling of firearms, so of course we're going to go through the safety check. The uh, chamber is empty, magazine wall is empty, firearm is effectively unloaded, although we're still of course going to treat it as if it is loaded. Um, as you can see here, got the threaded barrel. You can get these, this is from uh, Lone Wolf Distributing I believe, pretty easy to get one of these. So we take the uh, little thread protector off. and we screw on the suppressor. Now the most interesting, interesting thing about tuning a uh, 45 Auto with a can is that, uh, believe it or not, it's a lot different than the movies. I'm sure you probably aren't surprised by that since the movies are quite inaccurate and almost everything. Um, the, uh, you know, the, the way a suppressor works is essentially it, it uh, without a suppressor you've got the bullet coming out of the barrel and the differential in pressure between atmospheric pressure and the, and the pressure uh, behind the bullet is so tremendous that that obviously as the bullet exits the barrel, there's this obviously huge noise. That's, that's due to the fact of the massively um, expanding gases that are behind the bullet. Um, of course, which is forcing it out of the barrel. The, uh, a suppressor works on the principle that there's essentially all these little bitty mini, mini chambers that allow the gas to slowly expand a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more so that eventually when it comes out the very end, the pressure dif differential between atmospheric pressure and the pressure uh, in the suppressor is a lot, lot, lot less, thus um, making the sound a lot, a lot lower. Uh, I personally think that a, a 45 auto suppressor is especially cool because um, the 45 auto uh, cartridge, the bullet, actually exits the barrel subsonically uh, naturally, okay? So you don't have to buy any special subsonic ammunition. It, it just is subsonic. So therefore, when you suppress the round, there's no sonic boom at all because there never is anyway. It's just is a lot quieter. And nonetheless, it's still a lot louder than, uh, than the movies make it sound, but let's, let's check it out and see for yourself. So. I'm gonna load this puppy up. Hopefully, I have some loaded magazines. Um, everybody got their ears on? Get your eyes on? Everybody but me, it looks like. Okay, guys, line's going hot. Is that cool or what? <laughs> <laughs> Do it one more time. <laughs> so I think what you notice is that the main sound that you hear is actually the slide working. It is, uh, it is amazingly quiet. I think uh, uh, Pat's, Pat's pretty excited <laughs> how quiet it is. And uh, I can't, probably the only thing you really have to focus on when shooting a suppressed, at least a suppressed Glock, is um, you, you can't lip wrist it at all because the, 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 um, the extra weight hanging off the barrel um, tends to kind of uh, just slightly adjust the mechanics of the, of, the sli uh, of, the, of, the, of the of the actuating slide. So you have to be sure that you don't absorb any of the energy into your wrist. You really gotta grip it tight. I'll shoot another shot here.
Okay, so uh, uh, hopefully you're as excited as I am about how cool a suppressed handgun is. So now just to kind of give you a comparison, as, as you can tell, the suppressor gets a little warm, so I gotta use a rag. Um, but I'm gonna just throw a few rounds down range uh, without the suppressor, just uh, again, just a nice little comparison. Because this gun actually is quite loud, it just doesn't seem like that when it's suppressed. Red protector back on. Okay, everybody, eyes, ears. Okay, range is hot. Big difference, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, it's uh, it's a lot easier to uh, it's a lot easier on the ears to shoot the suppressed 45. That's it for today, guys. Take care.